So our next material is going to be quite tricky. It's going to be a CD. Okay, so here are some different examples. And the one common thing they have is the colored reflections that go outwards from the center in straight or slightly curved lines. Okay, so to get these different colors, we're going to use a Vray blend material. I actually like this example the best. Maybe this one. All right, so let's try and make something similar to this. Uh, we're not going to get perfect results, but we can get pretty close. Okay, so my city already has three uh, sub-materials. First for the surface, second for the shiny metal parts, or metal looking parts, and third for this little plastic ring inside. So the metal and the plastic I'm not going to show you, it's very basic. And we're just going to create the city surface. Okay, so this is how it looks right now. So just a regular basic flat gray your material. And we're going to jump right in and change it to rear and blend. Okay. And discard the old material for now. All right. Let's set this up step by step. I think for this example we can use the active shade mode with V-Ray RT to see the results faster. Okay, so I'm just gonna launch the active shade. And this is how it looks right now. So let's set up a base material, a regular V-Ray material. And set the diffuse color to pure black. All right, and now the reflections. I think maybe let's start with the reds. Let's make them pretty strong. I'll change the BRDF to Ward, so it's closer to metals, and reduce the reflection glossiness a bit. Okay. But how do we get these uh, reflections to go like this outwards from the center? For that we can use anisotropy. So let's set it to 0 0.99 for now. And we use, you need to use a clever map in the rotation slot to get this effect. So what I'm going to use is gradient ramp. Change the colors so the middle is white and the sides are black and change the gradient type to spiral. And you can already see that the effect looks pretty close to what we're looking for. And maybe the reflections are a bit too blurred. You can increase that. Okay. And to make it even more interesting, we can use a map in this anisotropy slot. So let's say I'm going to use a fall of map. And now the anisotropy will not be fixed. It's going to change depending on the angle I view it from. So when I rotate, the effect changes. Okay. All right. So let's add a few more layers. 
I'm going to copy this base material to the code material slot. And for the second material, I'm going to set the color to green. And here the trick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly rotate my anisotropy rotation map. Let's start with 10. And once, once the colors are offset from each other, you can see some colorful effects appearing here. Okay. You can try changing the reflection glossiness for various layers. And let's copy it again, paste one more time. And for this one, I'm going to change the color to blue. Maybe let's make it less saturated. And um, rotate it by 20 degrees. So right now the blue is the strongest. If we swap them around, we can make the green stronger. And for a CD, I think the green should be the strongest one. Okay. You can try some different rotation values. Get some different effects. And just experiment a bit until you get something you like. But I would keep the rotations pretty close. Okay, let's rotate our object and see how it changes depending on the angle. I think the reds are a bit too red. Maybe, maybe let's make them a bit closer towards pink. Okay, like that. That looks pretty good, I think. Okay, and the CD also has some basic uh, white reflections. Since it has the reflective coat below a layer of plastic, of shiny plastic. So we can add another V-ray material in our blend. Uh, let's set it to pretty dark. Pretty reflective. For plastic, maybe let's try the Fresnel at 2.5 and just blur the reflections a little bit. Okay, and you can see this reflective layer on top of your original material. And I think Vray RT is giving us slightly incorrect results. So let's render with a regular VRI renderer and see how it looks. Oh, actually, it was pretty close. And it seems like we might be missing one layer. And that is the base base layer, regular metallic material, uh, without any colored reflections. So that's why our material looks a little bit weird.
OK. And to make it a bit easier, so we don't have to move all the materials, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the first one, change my original material to Rearray Blend Material again, keep the old material as submaterial, move it to the code material slot, and paste my material I copied in the first slot or the base material slot. Okay, and let's change the reflect color to white. And make it much blurrier. And we can even fake it a little bit by unlocking the glossiness for highlights and bringing it down. Right, and finally I'm gonna rotate my anisotropy map to be 90 degrees and render. And since we're using two blend materials, Fury RT doesn't display it correctly. So um You have to do it with regular renderer. Maybe let's reduce the anisotropy a little bit to blur the reflections more. Okay, that's a good base. And maybe it's a bit too strong. What we can do is we can adjust uh, the V-Ray Blend material blend amount. So let's say we want to bring the colorful reflections up and the shiny white ones down. So you can go to Blend Amount, click on this color swatch here and increase the brightness of it to make the color stronger and the base weaker. Okay. Maybe let's try changing the base material and isotropic rotation to 180 degrees. Okay, like that. And you can play with these rotation values until you get something you like. And it's not going to be perfect anyway, since the material is too complex to recreate successfully. But I think the results are pretty close. I'm just going to rotate my CD around so you can see the preview and how it changes. So that looks pretty much like a CD to me. Different color reflections going out from the center. Okay. So again, this material is not perfect, but the effect is pretty similar to real life 